Hi, I'm Jordan from Kettner Creative. In this video, I want to show you how to set up and use the Yorkville EXM battery powered speaker. If you're interested in audio equipment, microphones, speakers, mixers, or anything else event related, please like and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. The Yorkville EXM12 mobile speaker is perfect for those events in areas that don't have power. There's plenty of venues around Vancouver, especially at the top of gondolas, out in the woods, or anything like that where you don't have power, but you're holding an event, and what do you do? Historically, we've always rented generators uh, with sound systems, but that's totally overkill. Generally, you just need a microphone and a speaker, and that's where the EXM12 is perfect. We we'll show you the back here before we show you how to set it up. So on the back, there's a power switch. There is a spot for a power cable, so you definitely do want to charge this speaker before you go out. It says if you charge it for between four and five hours that you'll get a full charge, and that battery will last for another four or five hours. So turn the speaker on, and right away you'll notice on the back of the speaker that there is a battery meter. So that's super helpful uh, for knowing how your battery is doing and how much longer you have left and whether or not you need to panic on whether or not you need to run a power cable to your speaker. So a couple things about this speaker. It has two microphone inputs uh, with their own level. Uh, you can tilt the tone towards music or speech. So if you are plugging an uh, iPhone into one of these inputs or something like that, you can tilt it to be music, or if you're hooking up DJ turntables, again, tilt it towards music, you'll get that more full sound. But if you're doing speech, then turn this knob all the way to speech, and you'll get more of a low cut with a mid boost to make that speech more clear. Uh, there is an effects knob as well. So if you want uh, room reverb, hall, delay, or anything like that, you select your effect down here, and then per each channel, you can dial that up or down. One really cool thing is, since we're going totally wireless, you know there's no wires here, you can pair this speaker to your phone using Bluetooth. So you just hold this down for four seconds. You'll see that the light blinks there. You can pull out your phone. You go into your Bluetooth settings and it pops up here as EXM Mobile 12. So you select that. And then you'll notice that when it pairs, the blue light will stop blinking. There, you can see that it's paired. Then from there, you could just go into iTunes or Apple Music or whatever music player you have, and you can hit play, and the sound will come out. So it's as easy as that. I'd play it for longer, but uh, I don't want to get into any copyright issues on YouTube. But that's how that works. You can also use this as a third input for a microphone, or if you have a headphone jack, you can plug a headphone jack into that as well. So this Bluetooth will pair with laptops, uh, any phone, iPad, something like that. Uh, but again, just do remember that Bluetooth doesn't have the greatest range, so when you pair your device, I would still leave your device within 10 or 20 feet of uh, the speaker just so you don't have any issues. Now, if you're hooking a bunch of these speakers up together, then you'd pair Bluetooth or plug in your microphones to here, and then you can link out to another speaker uh, and then adjust the volume on that speaker. So you can run multiple speakers, which is really cool for those bigger events. Um, but again, I'm not going to worry too much about uh, hooking up a mixer or anything to this. If you have a big event, then just bring a generator and then that will power your mixer and all that. If you're using this speaker, you're really counting on the built-in uh, mixer on the back of the speaker because you don't want to worry about powering up an external mixer. If you want to hook up a microphone, I'll show you how to do that. So here we have the Shure SM58, which is a pretty standard microphone. Uh, so you plug your XLR cable into the bottom of the microphone and then you plug your microphone into the back of the speaker. We're going to be using this for speech, so I'll turn that knob all the way to the right so it says speech and then I'll bring the volume up as I speak. Check, check, check. One, two, one, two. One thing I do want to point out about this speaker is that it's not the best speaker on the market for music playback. It will work if you're doing an event in the middle of nowhere, if you're camping and you just want music or something like that, the speaker is great. But if you're wanting like a full, like proper DJ sound, this isn't the speaker for you, I don't think. I would go a different route and get a generator. Um, obviously, if you're, if you're making a speaker that's battery driven, you're thinking about power efficiency. And the most power hungry part of a speaker is that low woofer. 
right? So if you want this battery to truly last five hours, uh, you're going to sacrifice some of that low-end power and some of that low-end frequency. So just do be aware of that with this speaker. Um, but other than that, if you have any questions about this speaker, please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.